Hey guys, it's Steven from Pre-Med Tech, and in today's video, we will be comparing the Apple Pencil 2 to the Active Stylus Pen found on Amazon for $22. Now, here we have the Active Stylus Pen. It comes with a micro USB cable, and it's pretty interesting how you charge it. You have to take the cap off and make sure you don't lose it because it just ruins the whole style of the pen. And once you take the cap off, the slot is right there, insert the cable, and you're ready to go. Um, now this pencil does work with iPads made in 2018 to 2020 only, so make sure your iPad is compatible. Here is the Apple Pencil 2, which is packed identical to the Active Stylus Pen, but with only one thing in the box, which is the pen itself. Now it's very simple, but does come with a lot of manuals, which people most likely do not read. But besides that, it comes with the pencil itself, very simple box, no charger because it charges directly from your iPad, which is pretty cool and I don't think any alternative Apple Pencil could replicate. But it's not such an important feature because, I mean, you don't charge the pencil that often. I decided to take biochemistry notes using the Active Stylus Pen and the Apple Pencil 2 and compare both. When I was using the Active Stylus Pen, it felt like I was using the Apple Pencil 2, even though I have not used an Apple Pencil 2 ever. There is no lag or latency, and for $22, it feels amazing. I began using the Apple Pencil 2 to take notes and highlight research papers, and it felt really good as well. The one thing this pen has is the double tap feature, where you can switch between, let's say, writing and erasing by double tapping on the pencil. I personally did not like this feature since when I adjust my fingers when writing, I accidentally enable the eraser, which causes me to erase what I already started. But while using the Apple Pencil, I did not really feel the massive difference between it and a $22 alternative. This is a student's perspective, but if you are an artist and need pressure sensitivity, then the Apple Pencil may be for you. Both of these pencils do magnetically connect to the iPad, but the Apple Pencil charges while the other does not. In my opinion, as a student, if you are on a budget, just go for the alternative Apple Pencil because it works exactly the same without some useless features. Save yourself $100, which you can use to buy a keyboard or even just save it because you already spent a lot on an iPad. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. See you guys soon.